Hi everyone, thank you for watching again. As you can tell by the title, I'm gonna do something super exciting today. I'm a little bit nervous as well, but um, yeah, I'm, I just wanna tell a few things just to make sure that uh, no one's gonna freak out by this video. Um, I am an adult, I make my own, my own choices, and my body is uh, mine and I do with it whatever the hell I want. So, um, what am I gonna do today? I am gonna do Botox and fillers, but I'm gonna explain it to you first. Um, for many, many years, I have been grinding my teeth very, very badly. And I tried everything, I went to the dentist, I got like this mouth, this mouth guard thing and nothing worked for me. I even went to a special doctor who uh, like wanted to adjust everything, but like that was too, too hectic and too, too drastic, all of, all of that. So then um, one time uh, Dr. Yanni from Doctors Inc. told me that sometimes he puts Botox in the, in someone's cheeks or jawline here um, to prevent them from grinding their teeth and I was so desperate by this point that um, I decided to give it a try and it was absolutely amazing that first night alone I slept like a freaking baby on a cloud because like I woke up and all of this hair was totally relaxed and I wasn't I have I, I wasn't grinding my teeth while while I was sleeping so that was an amazing thing for me so this morning I went to the dentist and I had to fix my teeth because I I, I have been grinding so much uh, I've been grinding my teeth so much that I actually broke off two little pieces of my teeth hair and hair so I contacted Dr. Yanni to make an appointment again because I did it once before and that was like maybe two or three years ago and um, yeah I wanted to make an appointment for this again so that's the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna put Botox in my jaw again to prevent myself from grinding my teeth so that's like the medical thing then I'm gonna do two other things which are not medical at all but just simply because I think it's pretty um, I'm gonna tell you about it right now so the other thing I'm gonna do is if you look at my nose from the side I know it's very small but right here I have a tiny bump and I'm not sure if you can see it well and uh, he told me that if you put a little bit of filler right here like a tiny bit then you wouldn't see the bump anymore and it has been bothering me for years. I know it's really small, but still it has been bo been bothering me for years. And I even went to a plastic surgeon to ask him about a nose job. And he told me that normally they would only like this away. But if they do that to me, then my nose will look very big and like broad. So they'd have to break my nose hair and hair as well. And then the recovery is for like a year or six months way too long way too drastic i didn't want to do that so i asked dr yanni like is there something you can do about it and he told me about the filler so i'm gonna try that today i'm very excited about it um i know it's like not a major thing or anything this and i know that there are people saying like you don't need it but this again this is my body i'm an adult i have been thinking about this for a very very long time and uh you know i'm just gonna try it a filler is not permanent so if i don't like it then in a few months it will be gone again uh you know and dr yanni is a very good doctor so that's the second thing and then the third thing i'm gonna do is drum roll my lips i'm gonna do lip fillers and that's the thing that i'm most nervous about because I don't know what it's gonna look like but I've been wanting to do this for so so long and I've always wanted to try this um, the thing is that if I smile my upper lip disappears for a little bit like you can see it like this and um, he told me that if I put a, a little bit of lip filler in my lips then that won't happen anymore I'm okay with seeing it a little bit 
but I don't want I don't want it to be too much. So um, I'm super excited about it, and I'm at Avisa's place. Avisa's gonna come along with me, um, but. I'm so nervous and so excited at the same time. I hope, like I'm most, mostly nervous about my lips. Um, I hope it's gonna be pretty, but Dr. Yanni is very, very equipped to do this. Like my only advice is do not ever like take like a coupon filler thing by some sketchy doctor or anything. It's your face, it's your body. So if you're gonna do anything like this, then make sure that the doctor you're going to or the place you're going to is very legit and very trustworthy. Um, I know that Dr. Yanni is one of the best doctors to do this um, in like basically whole, the whole of Europe. So this is like what I'm gonna do today and I'm gonna take you along with me. So I'm at Dr. Yanni's place, uh, Doctors Inc. And I'm so nervous. Ah! So this is, by the way, this is the before. And I will show you the after later, of course. So I'm sitting in the chair and um, it's gonna happen, guys. It's really gonna happen. This hair is the magical Dr. Yanni and he's basically the best uh, the best one for, for this job of, whole, of the whole of Europe. Like, you're the one who teaches everyone to do this, right? I don't know if I'm the best, but uh, I try to be. Yes, he is. He is. So yeah, well, so, what uh, are you going to do? Yeah, so um, what you asked me is to uh, have a look at your face and to, um, to um, give you my beauty advice. And uh, what I see a lot with uh, young girls is that when they have a little bit of filler injected into their lips, they like it, and then they think, wow, I look better. So if I inject more, I will look even better than that. And if I inject even more, I will look even better. And then they end up having super inflated lips, and if you look at them, they don't really look good. And so, that's not what I want, no. Exactly. <laughs> so I would like to give you a little bit of a, um, let's say, let's say a, a, what a concept on what is beauty. Mm -hmm. Why is your face beautiful and why do some faces look strange and artificial and other faces look natural and, but they have this spark and it has to do with proportions of the face. So a beautiful face is in balance. The proportions are just right. And I use a caliper, a, pair of, a set of calipers to measure, let's say, the golden ratio within the face. So the distance between these two ends have, have a, the golden ratio as a proportion, which is... This is so cool. 1 to the 1.618. So I will just just look in the camera and um, if, if you point the camera on Tatiana, then I will give you a little bit of an idea on why she's beautiful. So first of all, this is the distance between her eyes, right? This is her one. And this is then her 1.618. So that one is also the distance between her two ala of the nose, also the distance from her nose to the lower lip and from her lower lip to her chin. It is also the distance between the brows and from the tip of the brow to the peak of the brow, while the 1.6 is from the beginning of the brow to the tail of the brow. So this 1.6 is also, we can use that. Are my eyebrows in proportion? They are in proportion. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> also, from the brow to the hairline, over here. Here you can see that maybe you have, you could, I don't know, do you, how do you do that? Pluck it out? I don't know. <laughs> and also over here, there's the one. You see that your hairline is a little bit low on this part, mm -hmm. and now you can see that according to the ideal proportion, it is maybe a little bit low. The width of the chin should be one, so we could maybe narrow that chin a little bit. And for you, it would be good if you, in the two-dimensional plane, if you look at the distance. No, you have to look straight. You say, so from the corner of the mouth, on a two-dimensional plane, uh, the distance to the mandibular, the jawline angle, should be one. And as you can see, this is much wider than actually the distance from the corner of the mouth to that one. Also on this side, you can see from here to here, 
actually her mandible is much wider than the tip of that caliper. Do you see that? Yeah. So what we should do and to... Like if we, if we do the Botox thing here, it'll also decrease, right? Exactly. So if we, if we inject some of botulinum toxin into these chewing muscles, then the chewing muscles that you have in training at night, grinding your teeth, won't be as strong. So they won't be able to really, let's say, go to the gym at night. So they're not the bodybuilders as they are now. But like I don't only do it at night, I also do it like when I'm stressed out or when I'm nervous and I notice like, I don't even notice it, it's just like, it's, it's, I, I do it at random times mm -hmm. and it actually has to strike my teeth, uh, it's, it's horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're talking about it. So not only will it have a, an aesthetic, let's say improvement, but also for the health of your teeth, it will be beneficial. So some people also have, um, let's say an overactive chewing muscle up here in the temples. Sometimes you see really like bulging muscles there. Okay. Do I have that? Not really. You have nice, you have beautiful temples. So, okay. so they're, they're not hollow. So that's a sign of aging. You're young and Yay. beautiful. So, <laughs> so they're, they're, they're still nice and flat. So, but definitely these ones, they are quite big. Okay. Um, Let's look at you from the side. No, wait, like from the front. So I will draw a line between your eyelashes, and this is your lash line over here. And so if you look from the side, you can see that this is her lash line, and that she still has a little bit of room to fill in between that little hump and that lash line, because this lash line is the position of the ideal position of the corner between the forehead and the nose. So we can give her a little bit of filler just up there in order to reduce that little hump she has and straighten her nose and optimize the position of the nasofrontal angle, as is what it's called. I'm excited, let's do it. To do that? So one last thing before, I, I know you want to <laughs> get it over with, but one last thing is about lips. So. What I would like to do, if I look at your upper lip, there's the one, then the lower lip, 1.6. So actually your lips are in perfect proportion. So if we do anything to the upper lip, I also would like to do a little bit to the lower lip. Okay. And looking at your lips, I think, you know, the, the sides, especially the sides could have a little bit over here. Mm -hmm. Now from here, it should look a little bit more like this. And I would like to accentuate these little cushions here on the left and on the right. So a little bit on the sides, over here and over here. Can you smile? I always look at the, the, the teeth. You see that this is your, let's say, uh, canine tooth. Mm -hmm. This one is projecting a little bit more than this one. The one to the left will give mm -hmm. you a little bit more anterior push than the one on the right. Mm -hmm. So close your mouth again. And that's why usually we see that on the side when the canine tooth is projecting a little bit more, we see more of a red lip than mm -hmm. on the other side. You see this side is a little bit higher than that side. And that's the reason why. So maybe in your case, I will also inject just a little bit underneath the muscle in order to improve symmetry. Like, I never even saw that before, so this is why he's the best. <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope I'm not going to give you any bruising or disappoint you at any other Yeah, uh, it is possible for it to bruise, right? It might bruise, yeah. or not. I would use non-traumatic cannulas, mm -hmm. however, there is a chance of bruising. It will minimize the risk of bruising, but uh, there is a chance always. How, uh, how big will the swelling be? Like, is that different from person to person, or is it going to be like full on the face? The, uh, <laughs> the, so, <laughs> it depends a little bit on, uh, on, on you, how you will experience this. Some people will say, wow, the first three days after the treatment, <laughs> I had such beautiful lips, but now it's two weeks later and the swelling is gone and I want more. But other people think, oh my god, the first three days I didn't want to leave my house because we're, my lips were just too big and uh, but that's just the swelling. So three days on average, it will be a bit more swollen. So in a few days I will film again to show you what it is without the swelling. <laughs> What's going on in your head right now? 
nothing. I trust Yanni completely because I know that he is very, very good. But of course, I'm a little bit nervous, but mostly excited. So, could you clench your teeth very hard? Yes, wow, that's a great muscle that you have here. So it's running from all the way from here to here, all the way up there. So this is really the belly of the muscle. So this is where I'm going to give you most of the dose, and then here, and then Can here. Can you warm me before you inject me? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't even have the syringe in my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get that now, okay? All right. There's something on your face. Something on your face? <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to start now. Can I? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, great. So you feel a little bit of pressure now. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Two, three. Two. One, two, three. Alrighty then. Twenty units. You good? Yeah, it doesn't hurt at all. You just feel, of course, you feel it um, through, going through your skin, but that's it. Mm -hmm. Like drawing blood at the doctor's place. It's, it hurts more. Mm -hmm. Hurts more. <laughs> what does uh, twenty units mean? It's um, it's the dose that I feel is appropriate for that side. Okay. And I'm I'm going to give you twenty four units on this side. Okay. So I'll disinfect again. Clench again. Okay, from here to here again. So this is really the belly of the muscle. And one here and one here. Okay. So can I go again? Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so slow injection, so to minimize discomfort. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can relax. Don't forget to breathe. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and that is the last one. Three injections per side. So. How are you feeling? Good. All right. So now we're going to go to the nose. So this was Botox, right? In my in my jaw. Yes. Botulinum Yes. And in my nose, it's going to be a filler. It's going to be an hyaluronic acid. Exactly. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you three injections mm -hmm. with anesthesia. One here, one here, and one here. Okay. Okay. All right. Are we going to start with this? We're going to start with okay. the nose. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Here we go. You okay? Mm -hmm. Just a little blab. Just a little blab of local anesthesia. And that was it? That's it, local anesthesia. One here, one, two, three. And one here, one, two, three. Here we go. That's oh one. my god, my mouth feels so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. What are you talking about? Is it already known? In, in, in my corners, yes. Oh my god, this feels so weird. <laughs> I can't even smile anymore. Take a normal needle and mm -hmm. I'm going 
to make a little entry point. A little entry point just here. And you shouldn't feel this anymore. Do you feel that? Nothing. Nothing? No. Good. One here. One, two, three. And one here. One, two, three. Mm, I do feel that side. Oh my god, I'm so nervous for my mouth. Okay. So this is a cannula, this is not a needle. Mm -hmm. And you may feel a little bit of pressure. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, click. Hear a noise? Yes, there you go. Okay. Want to know exactly where the tip of the cannula is? I want to give you a little bit of pressure here before I start injecting. And I give very slow, small amounts of filler. This is all because we want to be 100% safe. Of course, 100% safe is never possible, but we want to be 100% safe, so we minimize risk and maximize safety. This is really important that for people that are interested in nose fillers that they find a physician who knows what he's doing or she's doing because you really have to know what the danger zones are for the nose. Mm -hmm. and, um, Let's see, maybe I also have to put just a little bit over here. Why? Oh, just to make it perfect. Aren't you interested in perfect? Yes. Oh, my feels so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. Hmm. Okay. Like, this is completely numb. Like, in the middle, I can still feel everything, but like, the corners are, so, are completely numb. Tip of your nose, maybe a bit sensitive. One, two, three. Oh, mm. sorry. Okay. Oh, that hurts. Sorry. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crying, but like that's a normal reaction for like, if you pluck the hair out of your nose, you know why. <laughs> yeah, the nose still is sensitive. Keep on breathing, don't forget to breathe. Okay? Alright. Nose job without breaking my nose. Yeah. Well, I think it looks good enough for you, I think. I don't know, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks really good. Can you do my lips now? Yeah. 
I'm, actually, I'm going to inject a little bit of uh, anesthesia. Okay, I'm so yeah. nervous for this. Really? I'm really nervous for my lips. Okay. <sighs> okay. Can you just say everything you're gonna do? Okay. 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 Can I can I begin? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna take your lip between my fingers. I'm gonna pull a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna look at where I want to give you the anesthesia. I'm counting one, two, three, two, and then over there. Applying my entry point. One, two, three, here we go. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm going to inject a little bit of anesthesia. And this is a short acting type anesthesia. This will last only about 30 40 minutes. One, two, three, here we go. You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Is it painful? No. It's just between the ears, right? Just scary. It's really scary, but it doesn't hurt. Actually, it hurt more in my jaw. Yeah. So how does your lip feel now? Getting more numb by the second. Okay. <laughs> Lower lip. Okay, one, two, three, here we go. trying to really smile. Okay. Really? Yeah. This is you smiling? <laughs> this is me smiling a lot. Okay, can you open your mouth? I'm gonna take your lip here. I have to find my entry point. Here we go. Okay, so this is a... Is it in? Blunt cannula. Yeah, it's in. Oh yeah, I hate that. You feel something? Mm -hmm. Is it painful? Oh um, no. I hit uncomfortable, but not painful. Okay, so I'm going to inject filler right now. Oh my god. This is so weird. Okay. So, have some resistance, so rotate. Okay, I'm back there. It feels like I'm drooling. You're not. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, 0.15. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Just to give you a little bit of an idea of the two different sides that I'm going to inject. Also, I'm going to give you just a little bit of contouring here. So exactly at the border of the lip, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you just a tiny bit, it's called the vermilion border, tiny bit of uh, accent. See that the contour of the lip is now augmented. Wow. I don't feel anything. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go to the lower lip now. I was so scared for the vein, but it just feels weird. It doesn't hurt at all. The vein? What are you talking about? Vein. Pain. Oh, the pain. <laughs> <laughs> Anesthesia. Yeah, again, I don't want to overdo it. I'd rather 
I'd rather do a little bit less and if you don't think it's enough, you can always come back. Mm -hmm. All right, so, but I think, you know, looking at your lip now, it looks great. It looks I can't natural. do anything. I don't feel my mouth. I can't even talk. But I was indeed talking about that I was scared for the pain. <laughs> do you want to have a look in between? Oh my god! Love it! It's just the idea of the needle going into your, your lip that's, that's yeah, scary. But it's not the needle. It's a cannula. It's much safer than a needle. This side, we also wanted to do a little bit on your canine tooth, so I'm going to go into the submucosa of the mouth and to find my way. Yes, there we go. Reposition the cannula. Okay, I'll give you just a little bit over here, just a little bolus of product, about 0 0.05. That's it. I can see my lips if I look down. <laughs> okay, so contour. So this is a different gel. Mm -hmm. What is this it? This is a thinner, thinner gel. It's both Bellatero, is a brand name, but mm -hmm. it's in, it's hyaluronic acid. Mm -hmm. And this is a thinner version, and that will give you a very nice, um, let's say, thin contour of the upper lip. If I would do the same product that I've been using for volumizing over here, you will have one of these like wider, you know, lip edges. Just relax. So you really love to see that needle going in, huh? That cannula. Yeah, Lisa's a freak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a close-up, but uh, it's quite something wiggling there. It looks scarier than it is. Yeah. Like only nerves are really for nothing. Okay. Doesn't hurt at all. Now I have to evaluate and see if I need to correct any asymmetries that might be there. Can you open a little bit? I'm gonna check out, feel it a little bit. Sometimes I also have to inject just in a little in the middle of the lid, but mm -hmm. I try to avoid that because that's usually what, what makes lips look like they've been injected. So yeah. I'd rather not inject there, but sometimes it's necessary. In your case I don't think it's necessary. So, also because I'm like squeezing it, because of the cannula that was inside the tissue, there will be some swelling. Can you close your mouth? I think it's great. What do you think, Elisa? So pretty.
my god, that looks so big. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't get used to that, you know. They will be swollen for the next couple of days. Especially tomorrow morning when you wake up, you're going to think to yourself, wow, or you're going to think to yourself, oh my god, either one. <laughs> and, uh, Still can laugh. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're really big now compared mm -hmm. to how they were, but, it, but I do like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to, uh, to analyze what we did to the nose, let me just look at me. Okay, there's your lash line, just over there. Just a little bit higher, yeah, just over there. Then you can see that there's maybe a tiny bit of room for improvement. Okay, look at me again. Sorry, look at me. Yeah, just over here. A bit, tiny bit of room for improvement. Okay, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Do you mind if I give you a little touch up there? I do not mind at all. I, I trust you completely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm starting to fill my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the click? That I'm going through a fascia, which is like a, like a tendon sheath. Kind of okay. Of. And some muscle, there's a muscle there. Mm-hmm. You good? Yeah. And no one broke it. No Yay! <laughs> Alrighty then. Love it! Oh my god, I'm starting to feel my lips again, but this is so pretty. I mean, look at it from the side. I love my nose, I love my lips, and tomorrow morning, probably just like last time, I'll wake up and be completely relaxed. I will uh, definitely follow up, well, I'll do it tomorrow and then in a few days because like Dr. Yanni said, uh, my lips are probably going to swell, might even turn blue, but I was so nervous beforehand, but it didn't hurt at all and I'm so happy, look at it! Yay! Oh my god, you guys. They are so swollen today. But um, when I just woke up, I was like, oh my goodness, they're so big. But um, now I think it's like an hour later or so. I'm kind of used to it and I actually like it. I already wanted them bigger than they actually were yesterday but it's always better to just layer it up so I'm still gonna wait out for like the two weeks and see how they are or how they are gonna turn out um, because it's always better to just start with a little bit and eventually if you want them to be bigger then add more uh, because you can always add more but it's very very hard to like um, you know get less uh, if they're already too big so I don't know I actually like my lips a lot right now uh, but I know that they're very swollen and they will reduce in size um, during the upcoming two weeks for the first time in my life I'm so so happy with my nose like look at it it's all straight like there wasn't really anything big wrong with my nose or anything but um, or anything actually there was nothing wrong with my nose but personally for me I myself 
got bothered a little bit by the little bump I had here in the middle. So, um, yeah. The only thing is, like, my, my, it's, it's very sensitive still a bit here, and my lips are very sensitive. Uh, still like don't underestimate it. Yes, I did my lips and it's a very easy procedure and I did my nose as well uh, Which was also a very easy procedure because I didn't uh, I, I did it with fillers, but don't underestimate it It still is a procedure and it still is a treatment and Your body still has to recover from from it like last night um, when I went to bed my uh, lips and nose started to hurt um, but yeah, then I just fell asleep because I was so tired and now I'm okay, but my mouth is still a bit sensitive, like, oh my god, look how big they are, <laughs> but like, moving them too much is really sensitive and it, it hurts a little bit, so I'm trying not to do that um, too much, so like, again, I really thought this through. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a very long time. I went to a very good doctor. Don't just randomly wake up and think, okay, um, I see other people doing this, so I'm gonna do this as well. And um, I'm just gonna go to this Groupon person who's gonna do that. Um, like, this is your body, this is your face, think it through. I've been thinking about it for years, and like my nose, I've been wanting to do that for years. And my jaw, uh, like I said before, um, well, that's really because I've tried everything else before uh, doing that against grinding my teeth. Hi everyone, so today it is a week and a day later and uh, the swelling has come down a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure that all the swellings are gone right now and this is the end result um, what do you think are is it still visible or not because I feel that I want them a little bit bigger um, I already thought that I wanted them bigger in the beginning when they were just done uh, when, when dr. Yanni just did them but I'm pretty sure that I want them bigger but um, I have an I have an appointment at Dr. Yanni's place uh, or at his clinic um, in a week. Um, I'm still very, very happy with my nose, uh, also with my lips and uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I feel like my jaw has uh, become a little bit smaller because the muscles are smaller. Uh, for sure, I am no longer grinding my teeth. Um, I wake up much more relaxed every morning, which makes me very happy. And um, yeah, this is it. So if you have any questions, leave the questions down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching. Also, if you want to see what's going to happen with my lips or anything on uh, later on, just continue to follow my vlogs. Uh, since I'm vlogging every day, uh, you can see what happens with them. So, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!